Hello everybody. Today I'm bringing you a layout with these three photos of my grandson. Cute photos of my grandson. He's trying to roll over there. He hates tummy time so much that even though he was pretty little to be rolling over, he wanted to get off of his tummy. So that's what he was doing there. And I think I really caught photos of him pretty much rolled over already. Um, and they're not exactly in order. And I knew that, but just the way they looked, it didn't make sense otherwise, considering that we were talking about him rolling over. So anyway, um, I have all of those border strips on the right, and they're both leftovers from regular 12 by 12 papers. Both of those that are on there right now are leftovers and also border strips from Bella Boulevard Boy Collections, both from Cute Baby Boy, which is the newer one, and Baby Boy, which is the older collection. I've had a lot more grandsons lately than granddaughters, so um, that's why I have a lot of, you'll see a lot of boy layouts. I also knew that I wanted to use some of these narrower strips that I cut from border papers to vary the width of the papers quite a bit. And I'm just kind of playing around here trying to figure out the order. That background paper there is Bella Boulevard Cute Baby Boy. The paper name is Prince and the background is kind of a really pretty soft yellow with some green swirls on it. And now I pretty much have the papers on in the way I'm going to use them, I almost anyway. I'm going to play just a little bit more trying to decide what to do here. And I like that yellow and green paper, but it just wasn't totally inspiring me. So I thought using it as the background and then just letting a little bit of it show was perfect because the colors really worked well with all the nursery themes here. I'm going through a pack of Pebbles die cuts from the special delivery collection right now trying to decide if I want anything from there and then also this is the pack of um, paper pieces which are the die cuts from the cute baby boy line and I'm trying to decide if I want anything from there and the reason I'm doing this so early is I'm thinking about how I want the papers to lay and if I'll have room to get the die cuts in that's why I did that and also where maybe I wanted my title to go. I do have that little monkey theme there going and that's because he inherited some monkey theme things from his older brother's nursery. So um, that's why that little monkey border was so important. And my ATG um, goes a little crazy on me here. It's been giving me some problems lately. I'm not quite sure what's going on with it, but it's, it's misbehaving quite a bit. So, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think what, oh, I was throwing it, throwing the paper away and getting the, um, tacky stuff off of my fingers. That's actually what I'm going to do now. It's stuck. I, I'm not quite sure what's going on or what went on with this one roll. I still love my ATG, but yes, it can be a pain. So poor you video watchers. You always have to hear us lamenting our ATG issues if you don't own one. Um, one of the reasons I really wanted to use all these borders is I like collect uh, them almost. I don't use them as much as I should and I just thought it would be fun, especially since these photos are so horizontal with the progression behind them. I thought it would be really cool to use border strips to highlight that particular progression. So that blue diagonal strip of paper that I just put down is from the Baby Boy collection, the borders strip. That plaid strip of paper there is a leftover from a 12 by 12 from the cute baby boy collection and that is called it's the border or I'm sorry it's called barely a wink. That little monkey border is from the baby boy collection the border paper as is that brown rick rack there and when I cut it I didn't get it quite straight so I have to cut off a little bit of the um the sheet from above. So I just like the way that by adding that narrow strip in, it really gives some variety and it also calls your attention to how very horizontal everything is. It's so dark and there's quite a bit of darkness in the pictures, especially since my grandson there has a whopping full head of really dark hair and still does. He was born with a huge amount of hair and you've seen pictures of him before if you're watching my videos and he still has it. He's five months old now. Um, and just, it's just kind of amazing. <laughs> so 
Anyway. Um, let's see. So I'm just now getting the photos glued down in a line and they didn't come out to be quite four by four so I left a little bit of space there and you can see a little bit of the background space sometimes I'll put them on their own like piece of paper just to um, to because I don't want that background to show but I didn't really care there so this border here which says perfectly precious is from the Bella Boulevard cute baby boy collection from the Borders paper, which is the new paper or the new collection of the uh, Bella Boulevard there. So now I'm pretty sure that I want my title to go on the top, across the top there. And I've decided to grab my wax paper because then if I want to reposition it a little bit differently, because I'm thinking I might put some sort of cluster up there, I can shift that around pretty easily without it causing a really big problem. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that I use a wax paper quite a bit. I use wax paper not just for my titles, but also I like to put my clusters on that as well if I have any stickers involved in that. And I usually just find a straight edge somewhere on my paper or um, usually it's a, my paper usually I use some sort of straight edge and that's how I determine where the letters are going to line up and it just gives me help with the spacing this the letters are coming letter stickers are coming from the cute baby boy collection as well from the treasures and text sheet it's a sticker sheet with um, word strips with embellishments as you can see there embellishment stickers and also the um, the letters as well and I was very proud of myself because I hadn't it, it with the amount of layouts I've made so far I hadn't used any of these stickers yet and I tend to really like to use dimensional titles so that's why I have a problem using letter stickers other than I use them quite a bit if I'm doing a mixed font title for the smaller letters in like a thickers and mix and other font title but I just usually with the bigger ones I don't use them and I do have quite a few Bella Boulevard stickers from past collections so I really need to work on using some of those up and there are ways that you can make them look a little bit more dimensional which I'm going to do here I'm going to add dimension to that title at the end of this at least I think you see the end of this now that I think about it so now I'm looking at pieces things that I can add I'm thinking about adding that little arrow there because it matches so well um, the title is going to be almost there because he's he's just about over but he's not quite rolled all the way over yet so I did pull a little strip for the journaling there and that came from a me and my big ideas 3x4 journaling card pack that I bought at Michael's a couple of years ago so I don't think that's left anymore I did grab this little car die cut from the Bella Boulevard cute baby boy paper pieces um, and that just is indicating I think movement there so I really liked that I grabbed that little word strip there from um, the treasures and text I believe that came from treasures and text if I remember correctly I missed it <laughs> if it's not from there it's from the baby boy alpha and bits And you probably saw me pull that off the sheet, but I was looking at my notes and missed that. So I am looking, I'm trying to get another cluster of embellishment up within the title. And it's just not working quite the way I wanted to. I love this monkey sticker since this is kind of monkey themed and it matched the yellow really nicely. But it just didn't seem to fit right. So um, I didn't use that. And I'm really struggling here because I want another cluster up there and it just doesn't feel like it's working for me. Part of it was is that when I had the title on there, it felt like it shoved the title a little bit too far over to the right. So then it felt unbalanced to me. I wanted the title to be towards the left, mostly towards the left, you know, starting on the left with the most of the balance over on that side. So I'm thinking about using some of these um, puffy stickers from an old American crafts collection, but those are not going to stay there. 
So while I'm trying to figure that out, I'm going to do what I know, and that's that I want to use these um, items down here as a cluster. And I grab my large roll of scotch foam adhesive that I buy on Amazon. I have another one waiting because this is getting lower. Now, <laughs> this will probably last me for quite a while yet, but sometimes I don't place a ton of Amazon orders, so every so often when I do, then I'll just, I decided to get this because then I knew it would be there when I was waiting for it or when I needed it. That won't go bad. And I use a ton of adhesive on, of foam adhesive within my scrapbooking because you can take those flat die cuts and make them have dimension. Again, here I'm trying to figure out what I could do up there. I've got some clouds and the clouds would have been cute except the biggest cloud there was yellow and it just, again, just wasn't working for me. So I leave that idea, go back again to put the sticker there and it says, he is everything that is perfect wrapped in a tiny bundle. It has a little bit of orange on it because that appears in the photos. There's a little bit of um, orange from a little bird on his little um, mobile thing that he's sitting under. So now I'm going to put down those uh, letter stickers. And I'm still trying to figure out, it's still bothering me that this isn't very dimensional. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do there to make it more dimensional. And I realized um, I, I wasn't completely glued down there, so um, I wanted that side to sit down better. So now I'm going to my little basket of enamel dots and that's a present that my sister-in-law gave me quite a few years ago for Christmas from 31. I think they still carry those little square containers. And I found these little floral pieces from Recollections from Michaels. These are um, I think at least a year old and I decide to put them in the title and then also on that little die cut and they're just you know enamel flowers and so that gives that title a little bit more dimension up there it draws your eye around the page and i'm really happy with the way that looks now i still really probably would have liked it if i'd been able to get some sort of cluster up there but it just wasn't working for me and i decided to just be happy as um lane Amon says better done than none and in this particular case i really like the layout so we'll just leave it as is I'm going to finish up the journaling and then that will finish up the layout. You will see a still shot and a couple of detail shots of the title and that journaling cluster on the bottom. Hope you are all well. Take care. Bye.